What's going on everyone? My name is Bruno and this is my PPL Bolt week number 7 against the Cotswolds, Whimsicott and coach Dr. Stacking. Really excited to face Dr. Stacking is a really good battler and probably uh, is ranked number one in terms of being the funniest player uh, in the community is really, really funny of course um, if you know me you know him for sure um, we did CGT together uh, we faced um, during this during that season and I actually came up on top uh, so he got slurp -uffed. pretty much <laughs> he got cooked by, by belly drum slurp -uff. Uh, this is a new game, he's doing pretty well, I'm doing not that well. <laughs> uh, so, a bit of a different contest, uh, context this time, I, I, can't, I can't speak to it. Um, and yeah, it's a really scary team, um, that consists on the Chiyu, uh, Iron Threads, Grimstarl, Dragonite, Quaffle Ball, Iron Thorns, Terra, uh, Isuian Electro, with Terra Electric, Ice Fairy, Frostless, Espathra, and Terra Bug, Psychic, Fighting, uh, Raska. So, um, in terms of what I'm expecting, uh, the top three of Shiyu, uh, Iron Threads, Grim Snarl, uh, then Quokovo, um Espathra is probably the biggest threat. This time the, it's the one that I'm most concerned about. Um, then it can be Iron Thorns to have a switch into um, the Iron Moth, um, Dragonite is also Dragonite, um, Quokovo, uh, it's a Quokovo Electrode. So he can turn a bit, um, depending on the way he wants to approach this match. Um, I can see, out of, he has 10 Pokemon, the only Pokemon that I'm not seeing is Ravska. Other than that, he can bring pretty much anything. Um, but I'm expecting Shiyu, uh, Iron, Thor Iron Thorns, Iron Threads, Grim Snarl, the Espathra and the Quokovo. Those are the six I'm expecting, I think they are the, the safer six. Um, with Electro being something that you can really, I can really... Um, I can't I can really see the, uh, the electrode as well. So I think, yes, the seven Pokemon that are pretty solid against me. Uh, then D Knight can be good as well. Frostlass 4 as a stack um, can be nice as well. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to bring. Really excited for the thing that I'm bringing this week because we are going to try to munch, munch like him. Um, first Pokemon, I, I'm going to just show you. Uh, munch like uh, <laughs> We are bringing it. Terra Fairy munch like this, this week with Terra Blast, Earthquake, Slip Talk, Rest. Uh, it's the best switch into Shiyu. Um, he does pretty much nothing to this to the thing. Um, not even sure if spike, specs or hit uh, can threaten this thing. So the idea is just to Terra Fairy as soon as possible and uh, just click things. Uh, I, he doesn't have great switching to the combination of Terra Blast plus Earthquake. Um, so we're gonna try to take advantage of that. I'm mixed offensive so I can take it. Um, of course, I'm, I'm a bit more spadef because much like is naturally more spadef, but I have a bit of bulk in terms of um, physical defense, so I can take either uh, special hits or physical hits. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to do the thing. Uh, it's uh, my one point mon uh, that I'm <laughs> taking out of the bench. Uh, so yeah, excited to use much likes. Next up is um, my Iron Moth, which is probably the best Pokemon I have this week with the Booster Energy, Fire Dance, Sludge Wave, Energy Ball, and Dazzling Gleam. I have coverage for pretty much all this team, um, and I'm just gonna use it. <laughs> I guess uh, I am max speed so I can gain a boost um, on speed, and at the same time, if I'm if I don't have the booster anymore, I can speed tie with uh, the frostless, uh, and just have to click fire, fire dance, sludge wave, and ball dazzling limb, depending on what I have in front of me. Uh, this Pokemon is really good, so if I can um, put this team in range of the thing, the thing just goes in and just cleans everything. Uh, it's a really good, really good this week. Next up, uh, my Dawn Fan with Leftovers, um, Earthquake, Ice Spinner, Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin, Physical Defensive Dawn Fan, Set Up Rocks if possible, is something that I'm not really capitalizing this season, is clicking Stealth Rocks, and that's kind of um, kind of getting me, um, is spending me, is earning me not getting rocks, not getting assets uh, in general in, in my games. Um, something that I'm gonna try to capitalize on. Uh, rapid Spin to get rid of his hazards, he has earth, uh, rocks and spikes, which is scary. Earthquake is really spammable against his team, Ice Spinners, mainly for the, the Knight. Um, so this is something that we are gonna try to use. It's my main check to Iron uh, Threads, uh, which uh, a um, in Iron Defense Body Press Iron Threads is really threatening. Uh, but if I can, even if he beats me 1v1, uh, I, I put him in range of anything else on my team. So, um, 
that's a, at least a good thing, which will be probably the <laughs> the um, the Iron Moth because it's the only thing that outspeeds, but still it's it's pretty good. Um, Iron Hand is next. An assault vest. My favorite one to, to use this season for sure by a long shot is being Iron Hands. With this is gonna be an assault vest set with close combat, brick break, ice punch, and heavy slam. No electric coverage, um, mainly because I need brick break if he's, if he brings Grim Grim Snarl. Even though I think setup Grim Snarl is pretty good, bulk up or a nasty plot. Mainly bulk up. Bulk up is more scary than nasty plot. Um, I have heavy slam for the um, the Grim Snarl. Uh, the ice punch is for the Dragonite mainly. Close combat is general stab. Is pretty powerful against this team as well. And brick break if he brings uh, screens, I have a way to get rid of those screens. So uh, this is my Iron Hands for this week. Can take hits from even Terra Blast Electro can take a couple of hits. Next up, my Backscalibur. It's gonna be Choice Band Backscalibur this week with Ice Cold Crash, Glaive, Glaive Rush, Earthquake, and Ice Charm. So I had a Dragon Dance set. Actually, I had the Swords Dance loaded dice um, in the beginning of this build, but it's kind of hard to set up against this team. Uh, so. Shiyu does a lot, Threads does a lot, uh, Grimmsnarl does a lot, um, D Knight if he sets up does a lot, <laughs> uh, Quack of all just nukes, <laughs> uh, Thorns does a lot, so uh, it's not entirely easy to set up a Dragon Dance, so I'm just gonna go a lot offense for the damage um, with a Choice Pen, so uh, it, this will help me putting everything in range of Iron Moth in the late game. So this is mainly my idea with Backscalibur this, this week, because um, it's not entirely easy to set up. Um, it, I, it's, I'm just gonna go all out offense for the most amount of damage possible, uh, just so I can clean in the end with Iron Moth. So this is the main idea with Backscalibur. Last Pokemon is another debut, is Ushien with a Chopple Berry, with Giga Drain, Knockoff, Renation, Lead Seed. Not entirely easy for my opponent to deal with this Pokemon. Of course, he can have U-Turn on Quackovol, he can have... he can drink the Rask, I guess. Um, you can have Pin Missile on the Iron Thorns, uh, but those are mainly niche decks uh, that it, uh, he might have slept on this Pokemon. Um, it's a really good, it's a decent answer to the Espathra, of course Espathra can have Calm Mind and Dazzling Gleam, uh, can, you, can have U-Turn as well, and be, it's just a nonsense, Espathra is the biggest threat uh, to my team. But uh, it's a Dark type. So at least I can stop the psychic moves. Uh, I can take a close combat from a Quaffle Hall with a Chopple and just kick a drain it back. Um, yeah, it, it's it's a it's a Pokemon. <laughs> it's an annoying Pokemon. Um, so maybe he, he slaps, he slips on it, and he struggles against it. So this is the team I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna get connected with Doctor Psyching, and I'll see you guys in a second for the match. Alright boys, I'm here with the match against Dr. Slacking, so let's see what he decides to bring. Uh, we see Ravska, okay. No Espathra, it's huge. Uh, no Thorns, okay. So we see Ravska, <laughs> which I said in the team that was the last Pokemon that I was expecting. Um, okay, okay. Uh, let's switch like I found to Matthew. Uh, with a heart, because he's uh, really kind. Uh, okay, okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, lead-wise, lead-wise I think the lead, um, I think the lead is uh, Iron Hands. The only problem with that if he, is if he leads with uh, Ravska, uh, because I don't, I don't have anything for Ravska. Um, I can also lead uh, Baxcalibur and just go for damage. The problem with that is mainly the uh, Grim Snarl. So you know what? Let's lead with um, Iron Hands. I, I like Hands lead. I think it's um, it's a pretty cool mon to lead. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, we we'll lock we we'll lock the um, the lead and uh, let's have a good one. Let's have a good one. Um, Ravska doesn't have sticky webs, but he has Trick Room. Um, so. I'm curious to see if he decides to go that route. I don't think so. Um, he has a lot of coverage. So, Earth Power, Bug Buzz, um, Psychic are in general decent against my team, but we'll see. Um, and he decided to lead with the Iron uh, Threats, which is pretty cool. I, I can't close combat. The the switching to Ravska is it's pretty 
uh, obvious. I am still gonna close combat, I think, because if you want to set up rocks, you can set up rocks. I don't think you will. Uh, I think it switches into Ravska. But we are still gonna go... And it, I can't forget, it's, it's Terra Ga Ravska. With Terra Bug, Psychic, or Fighting. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it's gonna knock off my Assault Fest. I'm gonna do a lot with close combat. So... Um, this almost knocks him out. With a crit. <laughs> which... Uh, I assume it's a tweet kill anyways. Uh, is oh no it's Sash okay it's Sash so it, this doesn't matter. Uh, I guess I can go Dawn Fan. I don't want to take an earthquake. So I'm gonna go Dawn Fan. Um, and I guess I can spin gain a speed boost. Okay, he's going for rocks. I'm gonna go for rapid spin. There's no. Um, doesn't have a, a ghost type, so rapid spin it is. And let's see if he goes for earthquake, knock off, whatever he wants to go for. He's gonna go for a steel beam. Okay, big boy. Okay, uh, so I just lost a lot of health on my dawn fan for no reason. <laughs> um, okay, nice tech. Uh, iron threads, kills, um, kills itself with <laughs> with steel beam. Um, okay, so Threads is out. Uh, he can bring the Quaco Vault, which would be bad for me. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I, I can't Rapid Spin against... Uh, I can I, I want Rapid Spin, but I don't think I can. At least against Quaco Vault. Let's see. It's Shiyu, okay, so on Shiyu, I'm, I'm not gonna mess with that thing, I'm, I'm gonna just go into the Munchlax. Gonna go Munchlax. And let's see. He goes for Dark Pulse. Okay, I take it. I, I Terra and I Earthquake, I think. No, uh, let's see. Actually, Terra Blast is... Uh, I'm not Terra Blast. Uh, so, Terra, Terra Blast. And let's do the play. Let's see... What he does. Gonna pop my Terra... Terra Fairy much like he stayed in. Which is uh, interesting. He wants to go for, like, what? Taunt? Renation? Let's see. I have my... Uh, my Munchlax. He's gonna go for a Dark Pulse. I take it. I go for a Terra Blast. Uh, now I have to rest. Yeah. Um, does decent damage. Earthquake will be a bit better. Let's rest. Let's rest. And yeah, we have Munch Likes. We have Munch Likes. Goes for a Flamethrower. I have Thick Fat. So I leave that does nothing. I got the burn, but I have the rest. So that's uh, totally fine. And yeah, let's rest. Sleep well, my darling. Sleep well. And we go for Sleep Talk. So Sleep Talk it is. Sleep Talk it is. I kind of want to have Body Slam now because Paras will be actually pretty cool against this team. But it is what it is. One thing I can do is maybe trying to spin on Ravska, because um, I think Don Fan is faster than Ravska, unless he has like a lot of speed. I think Ravska is pretty slow, so you can try that. You can legit try that. We'll see. He's go for it goes for Nasty Plot, okay? So let's see if I can get an Earthquake or just either Terra Blast or Earthquake will be appreciated. Sleep talk. And you get rest, of course, because why not? <laughs> um, yeah, sleep talk again. 
This is potentially scary. Goes for a nasty plot again. Come on, come on, Munchlax. Don't be bad to me. Come on. Sleep talk. We get rest again, of course, because why not? Um, I'm gonna earthquake. Uh, at this point, I just I'm just quitting on the thing. Flamethrower. I have thick fat, so I assume. Yeah, I don't got I don't die. Um, and I'm gonna earthquake. Almost kill. Uh, this is already in range of either moth or. Oh, his weakness policy. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, I guess I have to go into Bax and Ice Shard. Mm. I let the thing go down, I think. Uh, yeah, I legit let the thing go down. It's okay, Terrible Blast is fine. Um, so, Shiyu kills Munchlax. Uh, I go, I think, I think the, um, the moth is the play because I can, um, gain a, uh, I have the speed boost and I can legit just fire it dance. Yeah, speed is item, so I'm gonna fire it dance, kill the thing. And yeah, the play the um, now I'm I'm just concerned about the Ravska now um, because I I didn't prep much for it, <laughs> but we'll see. Fire dance kills the thing, so that is something. We'll see. Fire dance, getting a special attack boost will be phenomenal. Let's see. I don't, because I'm not getting things today. I'm just I'm just not getting things today. Iron Moth kills Shiyu. He can bring the D-Knight. If he brings the D-Knight, I... I don't know what I do, honestly. I might stay in and just doesn't gleam, uh, because Earthquake is scary. And I can really switch. Brings D-Knight, okay. Uh, this is potentially... Scary, I still gonna go into my Dawn Fan, I think. Yeah, why not? Dawn Fan. Trying to spin if possible. Let's see what he has. I just need to bring the thing multi scale. Let's see. Goes for extreme speed. Uh, two kills me. It is probably banned, I assume. It might be bent, might be bent. Uh, I'm gonna try to rapid spin. Yeah, so D Knight kills, D Knight kills, Dawn Fan. Um, now the play is either. Um, I think I go Iron Hands and I uh, Ice Punch. Now this might bring the. Um, this might bring the the Ravska. I'm gonna Ice Punch. Can bring the Grim Snarl as well. Should have gone for rocks with Dawn Fan. I'm 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 really I'm really not getting uh, not capitalizing on, on others at all. But the Steel Beam Tech was was actually pretty cool. Yeah, let's see what he brings. Uh, might be the Grim Snarl or the Ravska. Is the Grim Snarl, okay? Uh, I'm gonna Heavy Slam. Let's see if he wants to click uh, buttons with the screens. We'll see. I don't have assault fest, the assault fest anymore, but it is what it is. 
Goes for bulk up, okay, I thought this is a set I was kinda expecting I can heavy slam and kill, that's phenomenal Okay, so the Iron Hands kills the, what's it called, uh, Grim Snarl Now let's see, he can bring the, again, the Ravska If he brings Ravska, I might sack the um, Moth Because Moth isn't doing much to me, um, much at this point, I think And there's still a lot of viability um, I have to see how much a uh, back Caliber does to a Ravska if it's offensive trick room, a glaive rush has a really good chance to kill to max to max HP Ravska. Uh, Saxon is the D Knight, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, there's the D Knight. I kind of want Ice Punch. I want to do damage to this thing. I can go um, into the uh, the Ocean. Uh, the problem is if he goes uh, dual wing beat. I'm gonna ice punch because I think I live an earthquake. Goes for outrage, okay. Uh, I I live. That's phenomenal. I'm gonna go for ice punch. And uh, I guess I fuck the thing. Yeah, I don't think he is scarf the knight. Uh, let's see. So, the D Knight kills the Iron Hand. Um, if he's not Scarf, I can go. Um, so, let's see. And against the uh, Dragonite. Uh, let's see, choice band. Uh, outrage. I don't think he's Scarf. So let's go back Scalibur. And I can just Glaive Rush a lot of his team. So yeah, Glaive Rush it is. Yeah. So Bax kills Dragonite. Uh, let's see if um, he wants to go Quaffle Vault. Let's see. Paradise is the Quaffle Vault. Uh, I think I Glaive Rush. How much does Bax to Quaquavol? Quaquavol, if it's a uh, bulk up. Let's see, Source Dance. It says Glaive Rush kills. If he's max HP, uh, I, I have a good chance to kill him. So let's Glaive Rush. Let's see if he's Scarf. He is Scarf. Okay, um, if it is Scarf. Let's see how much a plus one close combat does to um, to Moth. Does a lot. He actually kills. So I have to go into Ushien. Click Giga Drain. Which have plus one against Ushien. Uh, is not killing, so I am gonna go for a gig and Gigadrain is killing, I assume. If it's at minus one, uh, as a good chance, uh, I have to Gigadrain. Yeah, because it will be at minus two, so I probably kill. No, but I think the Trick Room Rapska kind of wins now. Yep. 
Yeah, uh, I think it's gonna be a 1-0 win for him. So Ushien kills Kuokovo. But like, there was not much I could have done uh, besides setting up rocks. Setting up rocks would be actually pretty phenomenal against him. Uh, I don't have... Uh, I have just knockoff, so I, that's the thing I can do is click knockoff. He might just click Terra Bug Trick Room. Um, maybe I could have Ruination. Let's see, he goes for Terra. Maybe Terra Bug. It is Terra Fighting. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna knock off. Uh, I, I should have Ruination. But I'm, if he's Trick Room, there's no chance. He's White Glasses. Trick Room, yeah. Uh, so this kind of wins for him. Uh, there's no other... I can Leech Seed, but there's no point if he has Bug Buzz. Yeah, he has Bug Buzz. So I'm gonna get hooked by Ravska. <laughs> Which it is what it is. Uh, he was a good bring. Um, he, he played this pretty well. And we're gonna have one last game, the game to say just goodbye to um, to the PPL. Any other thing I could have done? Besides get, um, getting up Stealth Rocks, I, I don't think I should have done. He played this pretty well. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is gonna be a GG to Dr. Slacking, just a 1 0 loss. Uh, wasn't a big deal. Um, I guess I could have a bit more luck with, uh, <laughs> with the Sleep Talks. Uh, but he was Weakness Walls anyway, so I, I can't complain much. Uh, GG to Dr. Slacking, this was a 1-0 loss and uh, yeah last week we we're gonna have our last PPL battle so thank you guys for watching GG to Dr. Slacking again and I'll see you guys in the next video so peace guys